What was the funniest thing? You know what? <laughs> You've really put me on the spot there. Um, I think me, the one of my cables coming out of my laptop and the music stopping for about five minutes in my own party when I was playing a warm-up set, that was pretty funny, but maybe uh, 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 funny, you know? <laughs> but people were screaming. Yeah, people, you know what? It's, it's a party, you know? Things happen. Everyone's there to have fun, who cares, all good. <laughs> Can you tell me about your track listing, what, what you played inside? Um, wow, I am, I'm really, the, the, the track I'm most excited about right now is a track that I actually signed during Miami. It's by a new guy from Miami called Danny Days and um, it's, it's, it's just the, the most, the, going to be the biggest tune of the summer without a no doubt. Uh, Seth Troxell and I were playing it every set twice sometimes and yeah it's it's gonna be cool it's out on hot creation sometime in the summer who knows when <laughs> any upcoming re new release yeah we've um, we've got our new hot natured forward motion track with Ali Love um, I think it was one yeah it was, it was probably one of the biggest tunes of the <laughs> weirdos ignore them the weirdos oh they love probably, you probably British I don't know <laughs> <laughs> Who is your favorite character at Quest Park? Oh God, favorite character! I saw some people doing some extreme. <laughs> I think you know what? I think Damien, Damien Lazarus is one who's got to be the funny one. It's uh, Darth, is it Darth Lazarus? Uh, it's it's a classic, but you know it's it's a, it's a brilliant brilliant thing. Uh, big up to Ed Carney, uh, uh, my manager, Vision Quest's manager for, for for doing that. Really cool. <laughs> Do you hold any residency at the moment? Um, residencies, hot natured residency. <laughs> That's about it, really. Um, I do. I play a lot of Fabric and DC10 in the summer. You know, Circle Loco. I, I play there every couple of weeks during the summer. Yeah. You were playing at T Bar, and what happened? Uh, pff, they closed it down. Uh, end of an era. Good times, you know, but you know, can't go on forever. Uh, some things go on for a long time, some things go on for a short time, but when they're good, they're good, and when they're not there anymore, you go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> you, you left us and you went to New York for four months. When did you come back? Um, I just actually got back. I was in Miami. I went to my, uh, back to New York for a day, packed up my apartment, put it in storage, and um, yeah, moved back to Europe for the summer. It was really cool. I was living there, you know, recording an album, having a really good time, eating sushi, and you know, taking in the New York vibe. And it was, it was, you know, it was a great city. It's one of the best cities in the world for sure. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I had gigs there. I was playing a lot in the Rivington. But I was mainly touring South America, and I did a little tour of Japan. Um, but it's you know, it's a really good place to tour that side of the world from. And yeah, yeah, I was I was living up New York style. <laughs> there was definitely something missing in East London, though. <laughs> yeah, well I, well, I don't know. I wasn't there. No. But I mean, I don't know. If it was me, but do you have a hairstylist, or do you cut your your? What? I cut my own hair. I knew it. <laughs> I just like I go to bed at night and dream of my ideal haircut, and somehow I wake up in the morning and it's there. No, um, no, I just yeah, I take a little shaver and cut it all off. Who do you think was your favorite performance at Snowbombing? Um, it was Jamie Room, just for for, for for without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, for me, that guy is like. Uh, a modern day, our time prince, you know, the songs are so intelligent and cool, the lyrics are great and his voice is like something that people are going to remember forever, you know, it's, it, was, it was amazing. When was your first gig ever? Wow, first gig ever was my own party at uh, a rugby club in my own little town in Wales. Um, where I had belt drive turntables and there was a bunch of 15 year old teenagers getting drunk and causing extreme chaos to my playing speed garage. <laughs> yeah. What was the party called? It was called Blue. Because I Just had Blue? Lights because I had these blue lights and I'll call it Party Blue. <laughs> yeah. What 
is your biggest achievement in your music career and private life? Wow, biggest achievement in my music career and my private life. Um, my biggest career uh, in my career is probably mm, becoming a resident at DC10 is kind of important for me. Releasing an album, um, yeah, yeah. I mean. God, that's a really tough question. Um, and in my personal life, um, I've got a university degree. That's pretty, you know, that's something I, I'm, I'm quite proud of. Um, more romantic answer. Uh, more romantic answer. Well, I'm in love, yeah, so that's cool. Um, with, a, with, a, with a beautiful girl called, uh, oh, shall I say, her name's Olivia. She's a, she's an amazing woman, and uh, so yeah, she, uh, you know, I, I I don't know. I like to keep my private life a little bit private. So, thank you. No problem.